Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, Grey Hunter. So I've got it paused as you can see, and the reason for that is so that we can look over our new county. So now we are Count William of Mortain and Evru, as well as being Steward of England. And that means that we have now got a second holding. So we got this one. And currently the castle town is being upgraded. I can't remember if I ordered that or if it was already happening. I think it was already happening. But we can have a look. Um, on the 31st of the 8th, I became count. So yeah, the previous count was already building it. Now we can make this our primary title if we want. It'll give a tax bonus, but Mortain is just as equally well built up. In fact, I think it's more so. Yeah, pretty sure it is. We've got a castle city. No, we don't. We've got a castle town. Wait. Do we? No, we do have a castle city. It's the large castle city we can't upgrade to yet. But we have got a fair bit of money, so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade our guard quarters for 120 gold. We can't upgrade anything in Evru yet. But, we can have a look at our new vassals. So we've got Baron Paul, whose heir is this girl. Where is she? Okay, she's there too, so that's fine. We've got Mayor Bertrand of Alencon, who doesn't mind us actually, that's, that's interesting. What about Baron Paul, what does he reckon? He really likes us. Why does he like us so much? Oh, because he's content. If you have a content vassal, that is brilliant because it means that you'll it means that you'll almost never have to worry about them rising in rebellion. And what about this guy? Yeah, he likes us, but that's because we're a crusader and we've also got free investiture. He doesn't like a lot about traits, but he can go to hell. Alrighty, Count Nathaniel. He doesn't really have any negatives, except for being paranoid, but that increases his intrigue, so that's not necessarily bad. He doesn't like us, though, because we killed his mother. Fair enough reasoning, but he's only given us daughters, well, granddaughters, so hopefully this time his wife is going to give him a son. And Princess Emma of France... She's the one who gave us all the nice children. Cool. So she's a close member of our dynasty. Alrighty, well there's not much to continue on with right this second, so we'll just put time on. We're not really going to be taking sides in this civil war. Did they send... No, William was my second son. That's right. I thought uh, our son, our heir, was leading that. Uh, the Duchess of Somerset, who leads the rebellion, was excommunicated by the Pope, and Prince Simon is the preferred heir by the King. Though whether he stays King is an interesting question. A daughter was born to William de Harcourt and Margarita. Oh, okay. And she inherited none of the traits that either of them share. Well, could be worse. She didn't get anything bad. King Robert favours himself to be King of France. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Spiders, she gains Craven. No, thank you. I'd rather she had Content. And 25% chance of gaining Brave. Hmm. She is our actual daughter daughter, isn't she? Yes, she is. Alright, well I'd prefer for her to leave uh, to lose Craven. So we'll go for Fear is the Mind Killer. Cool. Bishop Wiglaf. And Adelis de Crepon is dead. I have no idea who she is. And Bishop Wiglaf of St. Ethelbert's has been imprisoned. Presumably he did something bad. 
Wait. Is that... In... No. Okay, let's go to Realm View. Um... She'll like us better. No, she can be proud. Proud is actually one of the only uh, vices that isn't a bad thing. So here she is. Because it increases your prestige. And the only persons who don't like you are the humble characters. So, meh. That doesn't matter. That's perfectly fine. Now, what is our Chancellor doing? He is in Paris to... Fabricate claims. Good. He can stay doing that. That's fine. How's Ireland doing? Scotland is working on Ulster. The Duchy of Munster's been put together, but nothing else is really happening. And we've got a castle town in Everu. Excellent. And now, we'll upgrade that for almost all our gold, but it's worth it, because we're getting more money from it. And in the beginning of the game, money is very important. You need it to hire mercenaries, and ooh, that's not good. You need it to hire mercenaries if you need to defend yourself against rebelling vassals, or if you need them to press claims. We probably won't need to anymore, because we've got 800 guys. That's not a massive army, but it's a solid core, and eventually we'll be able to raise some retinue troops, but not yet. He just keeps on trucking. He's never going to die. He's just going to live to the stubborn old age of like 50. 50 bajillion. Considering that he's already 60 and he shouldn't have time warped. It'll be interesting to see if he actually lives long enough to become a paragon of virtue because it's entirely possible at this point. He just keeps trucking. Okay, so the Duchess of Somerset might lose the war after all. But why is the... Oh, because it was a three-way civil war. But... Hmm. No. She's beginning to act properly Norman. Why? What was she before? Uh-oh. No, you're Norman. You are Norman. I thought all my kids were... Oh, no. Oh, right. Because they were bastard children, they took her uh, culture, and she's Frankish, not Norman. Okay, well that's good, because uh, we're the same culture now, so... No, Bernard is the same culture, and... Okay, so it's only really, it's only Anne who's not, and she's never going to inherit anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. Now, if we wanted to... We could throw our lot in with the Countess. She's fighting for Prince Richard. We could join in. She's clear-sighted. No, you know, she can keep that trait. But... There's not really anything important to do right now regarding the King. Because all we really want from him eventually is the Duchy of Normandy. But we might be able to get that through staying loyal. So we're not going to rebel against him. Now, poachers have been seen in Maine. But Maine isn't our responsibility. I should probably send my... Poachers will be eliminated versus there are more important things to do. Hmm. No, they do have more important things to do. I need them in my territory. But, what we will do, if we can afford it, is go on a hunt. Well, what do you mean? Oh, now we're wounded again. I thought we got over that. Uh, oh, hang on. At age 7, Hamelin de Harcourt... The son of... The slow son of Richard de Brion. And Emma de Harcourt. Why did he kill him? 
That is especially strange, but I wonder, can I do anything to the king because I know that he did it? I don't have an No, I'm where's my opinion thing of him? There we go. Short reign, we desired the Duchy of Normandy. Do we know... No, apparently we don't know that he killed... Um, Hamelin. Well, obviously we do, but... That's strange. The farming in Mortain goes up. Always good. That's really weird. Uh, my liege, my work in pa Ooh! Ooh, 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 yes, please. 79 gold. We lose some prestige, but we gain a strong claim. Will he live long enough to press it? Is the question. We'll take the claim. Let's have a look. Let's see how many men he can actually raise. 106, 118, 202, 200, 106. Okay, assuming that he gets levies from every single one of his vassals, he probably still won't outnumber us. But there's no point fabricating those claims now. We don't want that because it belongs to the prince, uh, to the king, sorry, we don't want that. This, on the other hand, is owned by a boy. Why? Who are his parents? That is interesting. Please go and fabricate claims over there. So this is interesting because it, prov it provides us with a time that we could get a really, 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 really good county. And they're already Norman. So we won't get any culture penalties again. I think... Unless there's some plot I can do... Nope. Is he fighting in the war? I don't know. There was a way that you could look at how many soldiers he could raise for definite. No. You're... yeah. This is all the vassals. Where is William? No, not Prince William, the other one. Oh, Edward. I thought he was William. No. So, he's got a total levy strength of 290, apparently. You know what? Oh, okay, no we aren't. <laughs> Wait, let's see. It's a 10 year truce, isn't it? Do we pass that strong claim on? No. Okay. But we have it, and that's the important thing. I forgot about the 10 year truce thing. In this game, truces are not between countries, they're between... Ooh. She's been imprisoned. Oh, okay, so he won the Civil War, and he imprisoned Countess Adele. That's not a good thing, because the only children she's had are female. And she's in prison. Uh-oh. Well, it could be worse. I just hope she doesn't die in there. Because we need William to... Give... We need her to give William a son. Uh, not William, Nathaniel. Damn it. Yeah, he needs a son. Where'd our truce thing go? Oh, there it is. Okay, but yes, as I was explaining, truces are not between countries, they're between people. So, if Count Edward of Paris should have a sudden accident, 
and it looks like he just might because he's got such a bad relationship with his vassals that a lot of them are probably almost willing to kill him. Why are you not? Yeah, just moral qualms. Those are the only things that are holding a few of these people back. If we can get his steward on our side, that would be excellent. He just doesn't like us. If we gave him enough money, I reckon he'd do it. And that's 101%. He's Norman. He wouldn't come to the plot. Can't invite him to the court. If we sent him 20 bucks, he might just do it. Hmm. Send him 20 bucks. What do you say, sir? No. Okay. Catelyn was bitten by a snake this morning. The brave little fool keeps seeking out danger. Praise her bravery. No, that's my lass is a good one. Let's have her be brave. Damn. So yeah, if you lose a civil war, all the rebels get imprisoned, which is another reason that I didn't want to go to war with William. Because he is 61. But I'd like him to be able to keep his influence going for a little while. Before he carks it. How is William doing? The other one. See, he still has no negative traits. He's brilliant. So, ooh, who are you? Who no! Our knowledge of legalism has increased. Good. Damn, 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 damn. Well, at least he's not sick. That would be pretty bad. So, if something terrible, terrible, terrible were to happen to this guy... Oh, we didn't even get to the bottom of the list. I should have gone to the bottom of the list. Uh, ooh, oh no, not Emma. You can't die. And who... Hmm. That's strange. I guess I'll just pause it for a moment while I send off all these requests for assistance in the whole kill that kid. Uh, Mayor Simon of Paris will add exactly zero, but he's willing to help us because he doesn't like Count Edward. He's got political concerns versus him, which is interesting. I wonder what is wrong there. Uh, you please join in on our thing. Courtier Simon. And I believe there was one more. Yes, Richard. Done. Alright, now we can go back to moving on. I do also want to change the feudal levies law. Some feudal vassals won't be happy with this, but they provide the bulk of your good troops. So hopefully, enough of them will be happy with us. Yeah, Baron Paul's happy enough with us. So he's agreed. And the Lords of Mortain have been good. Excellent. Because that increases how many troops you will get from them. They haven't got fanta- ooh. Is that so? We'll approve the plan. The Baronies provide most of your soldiers. At least the good ones. Cities provide a lot more light infantry and pikemen, etc. Which aren't as strong. Unfortunately, my complicity was discovered. Good, but bad. I'm pretty sure that the only person that will annoy is his heir. Unless my vassals don't like me because I'm dishonorable. No. No, they don't seem to have any problem with it. Which is good, because the other thing that happens when your ruler changes over is a lot of the time, their vassals won't like them. Yeah, short reign. We should be fine for declaring war on him. This one... 
Who do you swear fealty to? No, you do swear fealty to him. But you've only got four vassals there. Ah, I see. This barony does not swear fealty to that guy. It swears fealty to the Count of Troyes. Which is odd, because surely he would... How very strange. But, we'll go ahead with the whole war thing. We'll claim Paris. We can call our allies to help. Maybe because we like you more. Sure. We'll call Mr. Warwick. And we'll raise only our own troops for now. See if we can't beat his army in the field. The old wound has finally healed. God, he's just going to keep on living. He knew there was a war coming. Uh, those who love get love in return. Yes. Wait, what? Are you rebels? Or are you... Yes, you are. You're rebels, not the guys that want to kill us. The crusade for Jerusalem fails. And he's going to come help us again. That's interesting. Now what happens when they lose a crusade is that... The... Hang on, how do you not have a wife yet? You should have a wife. Uh, we'll give you a wife with good stewardship. Done. Close enough. What was I saying? Right, when you lose a crusade or the Muslims lose a jihad, the moral authority of their church goes down. Ah, we'll arrive in Paris before you do. Actually, is that a good thing or a bad thing? There is a river between us and them. Nah, we can't go around it. We have to cross it anyway. So hopefully we'll be able to win the battle anyway, regardless of that. Yes, we've got them on the run. They have routed. Duke Caddock of Cornwall has usurped the title Duchy of Cornwall from the Duke of Bedford. Not important. Our holding is under siege, but not by our guys, so that doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, oh good, we don't even need to raise any troops for now. We can just besiege him with what we've got. If we need to, we can raise some levies to help out from our vassals, but the longer you do that, the more they resent you. So we got 8% right there, just from that one battle. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I was not expecting to get another claim so soon, because he's only got a 4.5% chance of doing it. Clearly he should have a higher chance there. Everything's doing fairly well. A son was born, named Richard. But he's not heir to anything. It's not important. However, there is a child. My granddaughter. Ah, right. My granddaughter by the bastard son. She needs to be trained. So. We want to give her to someone good. What is she skilled at already? She's very all-rounder. Alright, well, we'll see if we can breed a good line of marshals from this person. So, we need somebody with a high martial skill, but not very many bad traits. Hamelin. He's gregarious. Yeah. He's, he's decent enough. It increases uh, how much he likes us as well. So, we'll do that, because she's a direct relative of a close family line. So, why not? The siege goes well. Oh, that's where he is. He's leading our army. Good for him. Now... Our holding is under siege. Not by enough men. It's fine. Now, so long as this army doesn't decide that it's going to come help out with the whole besieging thing. 
Castle City has been built. Good. Yeah, he's trying to besiege us with 59 men. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise the barony. We can't. Why can't we? I was going to raise Avaranche's men. But apparently we can't. Why not? Oh, he's only got hunger bites. She's turning out well. Yeah, she is. Oh, we'd only get 50 men from it. Okay. We could raise 146 men from Baron Paul. There's no point. We'll just leave them there. They can't actually do any damage, so... They might as well stay. The more men that we put towards a siege, the better, because we'll win quicker. And we've got 8% war score already, so hopefully this should provide a fairly big chunk. I don't think we have to besiege this barony, because it's not part of the Kingdom of England. But we'll end up having a little bit of Paris, which is nice. A little bit of France, sorry. France proper, as opposed to the Normandy area. The only problem is that it is de jure part of another duchy, part of a French duchy. The Duchy of Valois. And the Duke of Valois is this fella. Hmm. Well, we might be able to fabricate a claim on somewhere here. He seems to be loyal to his king, though. And we have some messages stockpiled. Are holding in Mortain is under siege, under siege, under siege. Yeah, you get one of those every time that an enemy army wanders through. It doesn't even have to stay. As long as it walks through, you get it. King Robert revoked the title, created the Duchy of Gloucester. He won the Second Civil War. So, it's good that we didn't go to war and help out his enemies. I'm pretty sure that he will remember that we are loyal to him. Although he's stressed, so he might not live long enough. Hmm. Why is he... Oh. He is the grandson of the current king. That's strange. Now what? Oh, Christopher of Stratton wishes to install Prince Malcolm. Ah, okay. King Duncan is the ally of our king, I believe, and he's called in our king's assistance. So Scotland's having a few troubles too. That's interesting. So they've got... Ooh, Ulster. Ulster rebelled. But Ireland has its own set of troubles, so I don't think they'll be able to take advantage of that. For some reason, though... Oh, he's the Duke of Galloway as well. Well, that makes sense. Okay. Victory again. 60%. I'm pretty sure that Count Edward won't give up because it's his last county. He won't surrender until the very end. But that's okay. We can live with that. Now you, sir. You still owe fealty to your French king. But Aquitaine is now independent. Though I think they were already independent. And I just forgot. Oh no. No, they're in a civil war again. Uh, she gains plus one learning. Or I can get her diligent. I'd rather give her diligent. Because it's a nice all round trait. Cool. Workers become boring and the hours of the day drag on. Diligence may be a virtue, but it's too hard. Oh dear. Well, at age 63, I think I can forgive him that. 
this is me, yes I know. He still has no negative traits. Amelia de Harcourt has become quite good, actually. She my yeah, she's my daughter daughter. Alright, well let's see if we can find her somebody to marry. We want a matrilineal marriage because we'd like her to be in our court. And we want a high diplomacy rating. And we want somebody who's good at things. He's a little lacking in pretty much every other department, but he's lostful and he doesn't have any openly negative traits. So let's see if we can get Rosendo to... what? Oh, that's not good. Why does it... huh. That's strange. Oh well, it's not really important. Okay. So, what's the garrison? The garrison there is easy enough to take out. 225, 201. We might not need to raise any of uh, our troops from other areas, but we just got a guy who's a lot better at the whole diplomacy thing than Richard de Brion. But he's served us faithfully, so we'll wait until the other guy realizes and asks for the position. What we will do, though, is raise our liege levies and do the same thing here. Remove them from our lands. That should get us a little bit extra war score. We've captured another bit of the county, and we've routed them. Huzzah! Oh, and we just... did we just take another one? Yeah, stand down. No. No, we didn't. I thought we did. Utrecht of Strathern has been imprisoned. Ah!